George Rush St. Pierre, Matt the Terra Sarah, welterweight championship is on the line. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Let's get it on. Come on. Will tonight be the defining moment of Matt Sarah's career? Sarah does have some really improved striking. He looked to the fight with Carl Parisian, for example. He knocked Carl Parisian down and hurt him real bad with the right hand. He hits hard, Randy. If Matt connects, he hits very hard. He has very heavy, heavy hands. Very compact body and style, and he commits. I mean, when he goes, he goes hard. He's got to get inside of St. Pierre, be careful of the kicks, the explosiveness. I'm really curious to see what his game plan is coming into this fight, what his strategy is. I agree 100%. If you had a guess, Randy, what do you think it would be? For Matt, again, I think he, he cannot stand outside here. George has six inches of reach. He's a very dynamic striker with his feet and his hands. He use that long jab and keep Matt out at bay all day long and hit him, pick him apart. He's got to fight his way into the clinch, use the fence, trap him, and find a way to trip him, knock him down, and put him on the ground. And be willing to perhaps eat one, two, three, or four on the way inside. Definitely got to risk it. He's got to step into that range of exchanges well, to make that transition. He's got to eat those on the outside as well. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. He's going to eat them all night if he doesn't get past that range. Well, and, and to a certain degree, though, when you look at the size difference, Randy, this fight is, is not that much unlike you against Tim Sylvia and the fact that you had to get underneath, avoid the bigger, taller opponent, and the, uh, the more documented strike or if you will, get inside and impose your will on it. Very similar, very similar. And, and looking, Matt now, he seems to be changing levels and throwing nice body shots. Nice big right hand, right hook to the body. Well, Ray Longo, who trains him in his striking, one of his, he is one of the best in the business, so Sarah is prepared, Sarah is determined, and man, all he was doing was smiling the last few days. Good leg kick. Nice leg kick. Saying, I am ready, buddy. And he waited a little extra time, too, since the show because of St. Pierre's injury. This fight was to occur a couple of months ago. Again with the body shot. And we saw Ray Longo talking to Pete Sell in his fight, saying, look, the head moves away, the body's there. Throw it to the body. And we see Matt Serra going to the body over and over again here. One of our fights on the undercard earlier tonight. Nice right hand by Matt Serra. He seems perfectly comfortable in the exchanges here. Doesn't seem nervous at all. He's not rushing it. He's picking his shots. He's doing a great job. And like he said, with every minute that goes by, his confidence escalates. And one thing that was interesting in breaking down his fight is Matt Serra, guys, is, is a lot harder to hit than you think. He's got good avoidance. He's got good head movement. He's got good body movement. Comes in at good angles. St. Pierre can end it with one big strike from anywhere, though. If you don't believe that, ask Matt Hughes. Future Hall of Famer, overwhelmed by George Rush St. Pierre at UFC 65. Sarah, and if you look at those two fights, that's Sarah's Sarah. Sarah doing a better. Oh, yeah. Sarah, he's 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 Sarah, George changed levels, staggered him, oh followed it up with another left. Wow! Once he had him hurt, he stayed on him. You know, we talked about his punching power before. That is incredible. Unbelievable. Woo! Matt Hughes, I love it. He looked so com comfortable, confident, composed. He wasn't rushed. He didn't look, seem concerned at all. Wow! Joe, was that, when, when George went down the first time, was that a slip or had he been clipped? No, he think? got hit. You know, look, Matt, Matt, Matt sarah has got heavy hands. We, we talked take about a look it. At it. Let's, Let's see, see how it all started. You just never know what's going to happen. It's impossible to predict. There's so many variables. Let's take a look at it again. Right hand right in the back that of the one. head. 
It looked like that was a little bit more off balance than anything. But no, no, See, he that's looks where I thought, Bob, That's where I thought the, the slip head. was, yep. When I he think, hit him in the back of the head, you think, guys? I think Matt is so strong that a punch like that just clip in the back. And that one that really one hurt him really badly. Really wobbled him. No legs at all on George right here. And Matt continued to come forward. And stayed calm, too. Here's the end of the fight. Mount and just dropping bombs. Wow. Speechless. Unbelievable. Bruce Buffer. Look at Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy is called to stop to this contest at 3 minutes 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And now, the new UFC welterweight champion of the world.